Hey, what's going on guys? Rhino here bringing you the next episode of Hate Mail. My friend uh, recently contacted me uh, stating that this guy posted a, a pretty cool comment and he thought I should review it. So, without further ado, this is word for word what the guy's comment said. Oh, uh, first let me note, this was posted on the video um, where I uh, talk about why freedom is bad network. Um, the overview, the one that was uh, I posted on this channel because um, all the old ones were deleted. So it talks about my original video and then all the subsequent videos um, that happened, including my response to Stefan's response video and so on and so forth. <clears throat> Here we go. How about you get your whiny ass bitch out there and get a real job rather than being a bitch about freedom? Your problem is... You signed the damn contract and you can't shit about it now. Dumbass 19 year old. Alright, uh, you know, see, he's a pretty friendly guy. Um, thank you for your uh, comment, it makes me feel good inside. Um, let's break this down piece by piece. Um, how about you get your whiny ass bitch out there? My whiny ass bitch. Bitch means female dog. I don't, I, I don't own a female dog. Um, and if you take the, the insult for, in, insulting form, it still doesn't make sense. You're whiny ass bitch. Because bitch would be a noun. I can't think of a... Hmm, I can't think of a way that the, that the way you word this makes sense. So you already show that you're... You, dumbass 19 year old makes me think that you are older than me. Or at least you're trying to be older than me. Or trying to act like you're older than me. Um, and I can tell by your comment that you're not. Um, if I had to guess an age, I would say 13. Um, probably in the ballpark of 13 or so. Um, okay, but how about you get your whiny ass bitch out there and get a real job rather than being a bitch about freedom. I've already explained this and uh, I'm kind of getting tired of explaining this. Um, I can't get a job because of how college works. Um, most of my time is devoted to going to actual classes. Uh, the rest of my time is devoted to studying, homework, and projects. And what little time remains, I prefer to sleep because humans need sleep, especially to be successful in college. Um, no job, literally, I mean, technically I could apply for a job because I would say I get, hmm, I have about an hour of free time a day around there but um the problem is no job would hire me i can 100 percent guarantee i know what jobs need and they don't hire people who can work an hour a day and i can't make time for that including my weekends are full i mean on the weekends i maybe have depending upon depending upon where it is uh, during this the term i could have could have up to two to three hours of free time um each day but still, no job would hire me for that. Uh, so I can't go out there and get a real job. Uh, re uh, and rather than being a bitch about freedom, I'm not being, being a bitch about freedom. <laughs> um, you're, you're making a, a really crappy um, opinion about me. Um, I was scammed out of $7,000 because a company wants to make money off of me. I would say that's not really me being a bitch. Most people in my scenario would do something about it, like what I did. Maybe would even try to do more. I don't know. I kind of feel like out of all the possible things I could have done, this is one of the least bitchy things to do. Um, so yeah, and even like, let's even if I were to get a job, that still doesn't solve the problem that freedom took seven thousand dollars. That they should have paid me, but they didn't. They just kept it for themselves. So your comments are relevant regardless. Your problem, you signed the damn contract and you can't shit about it now. Well, I don't really, you know, take a shit about things like this. Like I don't, um, my, I don't go to the bathroom whenever I, whenever money gets taken from me, I don't go to the bathroom and shit in the toilet. Like that's not really my thing, but, um, you signed the damn contract. Yes, I did sign the contract. Um, in fact, uh, what the contract states is that they have the ability to withhold the money. What this means is that if there are any uh, fishy problems, like if I was doing something extremely illegal, that way they could withhold the money and then return it to the uh, return it to YouTube slash return it to um, 
the uh, advertisers, um, the companies that ad that buy the advertising, um, so that you know everything is sorted out and YouTube and Freedom don't get sued. Well, actually, YouTube would be the one that would get sued. But the problem is, YouTube is the one who does this check, not Freedom. Freedom only withholds this money um, to make sure that there is no fishy, situa fishy situation. The problem, um, most network, like any network can do this. Um, not all networks have this in their contract, but it's regardless, it's irrelevant that this is in their contract. Any network can do this technically, but they don't have a part of their contract that says like they're going to pay out if they can. And they didn't. Uh, Freedom had the full ability to pay out, and any other network would. Most other networks would have. I can't say any other network because that I can't guarantee that 100%. But every network that I've heard of or talked to would pay out in my situation. Had the same situation happened with a, a full screen or my network or Asivin or um, uh, RPM or Maker Studios or TGS, like they would have paid out. Uh, even freaking broadband TV, which is a pretty pretty hated network, um, would pay out. And they all can withhold the money like what Freedom says in their contract. Freedom just kept the money for themselves because they wanted to make that, that money. And yeah, you're right. I can't do shit about it because I don't want to do – well, I can't do shit about it because Freedom screwed me over. They have a legal document that um, – basically allows them to do what they did so i can't sue them all i can do is you know do what i'm doing now which is hating on them and so people are actually releasing and um, i'm saving people as well as hurting freedom so you know win-win basically what you're stating is that if uh, someone signs a contract then whatever happens happens and it's okay like if uh, if someone handed me a like a twenty thousand page contract um, you know, it's like stacked, like super high that if um, I uh, didn't read word for word and it turns out in there, it says that um, they can slowly cut off my testicles uh, and then take each of my toes and then slice, slice a little bit, fingers and toes and slice a little bit further every couple minutes until all my fingers and toes are gone. You'd be like, well, you signed a contract, so it's okay that they do that. Ugh, I'm sorry, but that's not the case. Um, th this isn't justified what they did, regardless of if they can do it or if I can't do shit about it, has no relevance whatsoever. They, um, they did something horrible. I'll, most people can realize that, uh, th if you check through the comments, the ratings and, you know, how much hate freedom is getting, how many people are releasing. Yeah, you can see that, um, you are in a vast majority thinking that freedom is okay doing this. Um, I don't know too many people who would say that uh, a big company that pulls in a lot of money can screw um, a, a college student out of $7,000 that they should have paid him. I don't think many people would say that that's okay. But, you know, if you want to be a horrible person, then that's good for you. I just hope you never gain any sort of power um, uh, in any sort of position whatsoever because that could be scary, having a person as atrocious as you having any sort of relative power whatsoever. And now, the last part. Dumbass 19-year-old. I'm actually really not that dumb. I'm in a, um, um, a state college, which has a pretty... A, a lot of people get turned down from this college. Actually, there's this kid who I'm friends with who um, had a, a, a pretty good GPA in college. He was really smart. He's really smart now. Um, he's like getting straight A's in all of his college courses, including... Um, business calculus which is one of the hardest classes offered at our school and he's getting an a and guess what he's the same age as me and he almost got rejected he got put on the wait list for this college and i got in scot-free 100 percent. i was just accepted like that i had a way better gpa he had a 2.9 gpa i had a 3.5 gpa um i let's see what else um i uh I'm typically, I'm, I'm quite a bit smarter than a lot of people that I have seen posting comments about this issue. Um, uh, you know, a lot of people are completely um, oblivious or they don't understand what's going on. Um, they don't understand how networks work. Like you probably have absolutely no understanding of networks. 
um, and anything related to this. And it'd be funny to see you put in a situ same situation where you were promised seven thousand um, dollars, actually over seven thousand dollars, and then the network, um, the the person who set, promises it to you, just takes it away um, because they can and they keep it all for themselves. I'll bet you would say something about it. So. You know, don't judge me because you you have no clue what's going on. You you're clearly just ignorant to the situation, and um, you know I, I like how instead of just disagreeing with me, you have to add these like pathetic insults that don't insult me whatsoever. They just show how much of an idiot you are. But uh, yeah, that's about it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think about hate mail, and have a nice day.